guys, so today I'm going to be doing a DIY for you guys. I'm actually going to be doing like two, but two of each of them. Um, so the first one is going to be a DIY leggings into a crop top. Now that may seem kind of weird, but I'm actually wearing one right now. Like this, these are a pair of leggings currently being worn as a crop top. Um, which is pretty cool, so yeah. And then the other one is going to be DIY distressed jeans. Kind of like the Topshop Jamie Moto jeans, and those are like 70 bucks, and these were like literally like $8. So, um, yeah, the leggings also came to about around $4, so let's just get started. I think this is a pretty cool DIY, so I think you guys are going to like it, and I'm really excited, so let's hop into it. So for this first DIY, it's just leggings into a crop top. It's super simple. All you're going to need is scissors and some leggings. I got mine for $3.90 at Forever 21, so that's just like a steal. First, you're going to take your leggings and literally just cut from one of the sides, depending on how low you want it, like low cut and how far off the shoulder that you want it depending on where you cut it so you just cut that all around cut the crotch area out and then you got your crop top and then i repeated this for the gray one but i made it a little bit smaller so that it would stay on my shoulders this time and then i also cut off the elastic band which is optional and i also made it into a short sleeve shirt so i just cut the legs off and i made that as short as i want Honestly, this is very customizable. All you really need to know is how to cut the crotch area out. This is the black crop top. This one's a little bit more off the shoulder. Obviously, I would wear like a different bra with it, but that's what that one looks like. And then the gray one looks like this. It's a short sleeve shirt. I think the sleeves came out a bit weird, but you can always fix that to your liking. Um, but I still really like the short sleeves one as well. Now for the Topshop jeans, all you're going to need is some scissors, some chalk, and some tweezers, and then also your pair of jeans. I got these for $7.90 at Forever 21. You can get black jeans as well. First, just put your jeans on so you know where to mark where you're going to want the rips. Now, I did the ones with one rip in the knee, but you can honestly do as many as you want. I just took my chalk and made a little like sketch thing of like where my knee was. It's so messy, but honestly it does not matter because you're going to be cutting it out anyway. So just estimate wherever you want your rips to be and then you could take the jeans off and scrunch up the piece in the middle make a little tiny slit in the middle of it and then you could start cutting so i would first cut straight across so you just have one slit and i made it a bit like an inch or so away from the seam but you can honestly do as big as you want like this is totally customizable and then i just cut the other side into a line and then i started cutting out my holes so for the holes i just cut a semicircle up and depending on how big you want your hole to be is how big you would make the semicircle so i just made mine relatively large i would say larger than my black jeans which you'll see and i just did that on the top and then i cleaned up the edges because they weren't obviously like the best as you can see so you could do that and fix that all up and then you're just going to want to cut out the bottom part as well and then you have your hole in your jeans. Next, you're just going to take your tweezers and literally just start like pulling strands out from the whole circle. So I just went around the whole circle and did that. This just makes it a little bit more messy, but then this is not going to be the finished product. You probably could keep it like this. I just think it doesn't look as good right now, but you'll see what I do to make it look nicer. Once you're done with that, this is what it should look like, and now you're just going to want to take your jeans and throw them in the washer. So I just put mine in for an express wash for 28 minutes, and then I put them in the dryer as well to dry them off. And then when they're done, they should look really good. So this is what they look like. They have really large holes in the knees, which I like, and sorry that my knees are really awkward. But then these are the also the black ones that I made. The black ones have a little bit smaller hole, and I really like them, and I've been wearing them a lot. Now, I hope you guys liked those DIYs. If you guys want me to do more DIYs, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Also, subscribe if you haven't already, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you do make these, please send them to me. Like, send pictures to my Twitter. My Twitter is ElenaNicole07. And I would love to see your guys' recreations of them. So, yeah. That's basically all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.